This is basically just a list of books that I am ashamed of that I haven't read yet, if we're really being honest. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my May TBR for 2021. If you are new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she always has a theme to go along with why she chose the books that she did. I'm not gonna lie, she went a little boring this time. I think she's running out of ideas. Mom, this is a call out. Let's go. Give me that quality content. Her theme this month is just second books in a series because I am one to start a series and then never complete them. So it's also kind of a call out to me. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that she chose technically should be Siege and Storm, but I'm reading it right now. So she changed it to Ruin and Rising by Leigh Bardugo. This is the third book in the Grisha trilogy. I am trying to complete the whole series so that me and her can watch the TV show that recently came out because I literally started it a week before it came out and I was like, yeah, I can totally read all six books by then. No, bitch, what were you thinking? Technically, it's seven books because there's these three, and then Crooked Kingdom, Six of Crows, King of Scars, and then Rules of Wolves, which I don't own, but still. In my head, I thought I could do that. It's currently April 26th, and I'm only on Siege and Storm, so that clearly did not happen because the show came out on the 23rd of April, so... So yeah, we're a little behind, but we're gonna get there, so this is the next book that I need to read. The next book she chose is Through the Zombie Looking Glass. This is by Jenna Showwater. This is part of the Alice in Zombie Land series. I think there are only four books. I only have four books, so I hope that's the case. But I read the first one back in my first year of university, which was like 2015, I want to say. So it's been sitting on my shelf for a while, so it's about time. We pick it up. I think I gave the first one four stars. Might have been 3.5. I honestly do not know. But it's basically an Alice in Wonderland retelling with zombies. So I think it's going to be pretty good. All I really remember from the series is that the love interest, his name is Cole. And at the time, I was crushing on a guy named Cole. If you're like an original subscriber, you guys remember Cole. He was my boyfriend back in the days. We have like videos together. So if you're curious, you know... Go scroll back into Baby J videos and you can see who I'm talking about. He was quite beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Next up is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. This is the second book in A Darker Shade of Magic. I read the first book back in February, I want to say, maybe January of this year, and I really liked it. I think I gave it a four out of five stars, so I'm hoping to continue on with the love of this series. I want to join the bandwagon because a lot of people, this is their favorite series by this author, so I need to finish it so that I can also be a part of the bandwagon, like I said. So. The next book is A Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. How many times will this particular book be on my TBR? That's the question here. I'm pretty sure since I received this book back in like 2014, 2015 from Brittany, she doesn't make videos anymore, so I'm not gonna leave her link down below, but I want a giveaway on her channel. Got the first two books. Read the first book last year, really liked it. I believe I gave it four or 4.5 stars. And one of my goals this year is to finish this <laughs> series specifically. So we gotta get cracking. We're gonna do it. Hopefully. Next is actually a book that I like very recently acquired because my boyfriend William, hi Will, if you're watching this, I know you're not, but he got me a $100 gift certificate to Indigo for Valentine's Day and I bought a bunch of books with it, obviously, because that's what you buy at Indigo. But this was one of the books that I picked up that I've been wanting for years since it came out, but it is The Sky Weaver by Kristen Cicerelli. This is the third book in the Last Name Asara companion series. I believe it is also Les lesbian pirates, so I'm excited for some lesbian pirates. Next up is another series that I have had on my shelves for a thousand years, but it is King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. She is releasing her next series. I'm not sure if it's a trilogy or a duology. The Realm Breaker, which I pre-ordered, so I figured, you know, should probably finish the series before it. This is the third book in the Red Queen 
series. I gave the first one, I believe, four stars, second one, 3.5. So hopefully this one jumps back up in the ratings, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Next up, last book on the list that she chose for this month's TBR is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. I really loved the first book. I read it on audiobook and just the way that they incorporated the footnotes because that was what I was scared of in this series were the footnotes and how I was going to manage to read that. But it was incorporated very smoothly in the audiobook. Unfortunately, this doesn't come in audiobook, so I'm going to have to figure it out myself, <laughs> which is a little daunting, but it's gonna get done because I'm pretty sure I gave five out of five to Nevernight, so I do really want to see where the story goes, and I've heard it's really good. I know right now there's a lot of controversy surrounding Jay Kristoff and this series. Totally valid, totally understand, still want to read it, so I'm gonna read it. Alright everybody, so that was my TBR for May 2021. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and please let me know which ones you think I should read first. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.